You know, it really is a great day to be a, a rebel, and thank you all for being here as we celebrate and welcome the Davis family to the Ole Miss family, but back to Mississippi. So our quest was to find the next leader of Ole Miss basketball, and it was rather simple. Find the best coach and the best person who can create a new identity and a new beginning for Ole Miss basketball. I'm proud to say that Kermit Davis checks the box on every single one of those characteristics. Well, what is Ole Miss basketball going to look like? It's going to be relentless, athletic, explosive, a team that's going to, you're going to have to play all and on and on to beat. And I hope that uh, we're going to add some pieces in the spring, individual player development with these guys working. And if we can do that, and if the best players that are sitting over there will be receptive to coaching, we're going to win games next year. I'm honored to be your coach. I look forward to meeting all of you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. For the first time in over a decade, Ole Miss men's basketball is under new direction. The hiring of Kermit Davis to lead the charge was nothing short of a slam dunk for the Rebels, and he now looks to shape the program in his own image. High hands, high hands, high hands, high hands, high hands. Box, box, get back, get back, get back! Good, good idea, good idea, good. Nice job. Ole Miss sits at 2-1 and one on the young season and are poised to make some noise at the Emerald Coast Classic. With the program headed in an upward direction, these Rebels have every expectation to win and are ready to embrace a new era of Ole Miss men's basketball. physical team that we've played. There's about 15 offensive rebounds a game. They, they block shots. They are very inside, outside, great depth. They got 10 guys that'll play. They got Nichols pretty good. It's overpowered Nichols. But it's going to be a rebounding game, a physical game. And I mean, how hard and physical that we can play without fouling, all right? But then matching toughness and be able to really, really run good offense. And so it all starts today right into practice. It's an hour and a half practice, but it's going to be a regular practice. And our team, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing if we can really put some detailed switching into the game. All, all the time we spend in get back, man, and just all the drills we've done, I mean, it's just, you get in these games and it just comes to the forefront every one of these games. You can see this is a hell of a vertical verticality play. And then you watch him run on the other end. It's about as good a play as a big can make on both ends. Ball just got to get stopped we got to get matched up. Like I said, they just keep running. Jay's got to get some double-figure rebounds. we got to get guards like Devontae Butler, eight rebounds. TD, eight rebounds the other night. In these games, winning the inline bound score is critical. Hey, guys, we only got an hour and a half, so we got to go quick when we get there. You got to get on that bus. got to get started getting prepared. This is all we got. So it was about a 20-minute drive to really get on the floor and start our practice. We were later at that time, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good, 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 three, good. boys. One, two, three. Good. Let's stretch it out, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Rebel! 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 Up. So all reps are great reps. All reps are great reps. Move it, move it. Head up, head up, head up. Tight curl, hard dog. Out, good, good. Good rep, nice TD. Good job. There you go, there you go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get back, get back. Who's got the ball? Who's got the ball? <laughs> Good, Dom. Nice left hand, Dom. Good. Nice move. Good move. Lock down, Devontae. Good, good, good. Brian. TD, well, we got to recognize tomorrow night when you're a three, you got to go rebound. He's the only guy on our team or doing both, okay? You just got to prepare yourself in these physical games, right? I know you are. I know you are. That's why we got to expect more out of you, right? Let's go. Move, 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 move. Back, back. Box, box. Box, 
Lock down Devontae, lock down Devontae. Move, hard Bruce. Jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. Hard TD, good. One more, why do you got it? You got a pick and pop right here. Boom, another good pass, another good pass. Good effort today, man. Everybody up, here we go, let's go. Family up three, one, two, three, family. Let's go, man. Put the balls up, balls up. out here 2018 Turkey, Turkey Day Turkey. with my fellow turkeys. Turkey. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Big Turkey. Happy Thanksgiving. You already know. We top folk tuning in. What, what's over there? I got the cranberry apple. Oh, we got some cranberry uh, sweet potato casserole. Uh, I got some ham, turkey. Get some ham, turkey. Get some biscuits. Uh, my strategy in there, number one, is to get my thumb out of there. And then number two, is a little bit of everything. As you see, I got my candy yams. Got the mac and cheese, even though that's really just mac right there. The macaroni hit. Mm -hmm. Got a little bread, you know, kind of hard, but the mac and cheese gonna do it. No way you went straight for the dessert, man. What's wrong with him? Look, I don't know. I look, man. It's Thanksgiving. You can't go straight for the dessert. You know, it don't work like that. It's pretty good. I like pecan pie. Pecan pie. I haven't tried putting it. Try to look for some spoons. You gotta eat your food first. Then you go back, get seconds or something, and you get to dessert. I don't know what Dom thinking. All right, on the floor. Let's see. Nah, no, we're going to stick to pecan pie, man. Well, I am a ham guy. Most people are turkey guys on Thanksgiving, but I am ham, ham, ham all the way. And this ham looks really, really good. My mom taught me well, proper etiquette. We want to protect the gear, five-star gear. This part of the meal, I'd say I get to be with my brothers. Definitely banana pudding. What? Banana pudding, not good. It's water bag one day. Banana pudding. New Jersey Thanksgiving ain't got nothing it ain't, on Jordan. It ain't, it ain't New Jersey, bro. It's my family. Yeah, I get yeah, it. It ain't just Jersey. Look, though, the Jordan is high reef. Yeah, this is what we do. It get real. I ain't even, I ain't even a joint. <laughs> it get real. I ain't even a joint in the basement. It get I real. I know you see the pinky up here, man. Man, you see how the wind got the dessert? You know what I mean? It tastes amazing. You see what I'm saying? We in Florida, so everything gonna taste good anyway. You know what I mean? Howdy toddy. KJ, man. Big place you been eating. That's it, that's it. And welcome back once again here as we get set for basketball action from Northwest Florida State College. It's a semifinal game of the Emerald Coast Classic. The Ole Miss Rebels 2-1 and one on the year, getting set to take on the Baylor Bears who come in at 3-1 and one on the season. Yeah, 50-50 ball game, pitch play, a physical game right from the start. 50-50 ball, I want to see the ball pop tonight, man. That ball moves, paint touches, really share the ball, be unselfish, right? Let's do it. A little number change because of some of the jerseys being worn here. So, Bree and Tyree that you would normally see as number four is now number 21. And we are ready to get underway here from Raiders Arena on the campus of Northwest Florida State College. As it'll be Tristan Clark and Stevens tipping it up. And it will be the Rebels who win the tip. And they get the basketball first. The Rebel Guard's jersey might not have made the team's beach trip, but his game would turn the tide early. Vital working against Henson, gets inside, ball fake, goes up, blocked by Henson. Davis comes away with it. Terrence Davis pushes into the front court. Davis behind the back dribble, kicks it out to Stevens, to Tyree. Left wing three is good for Bree and Tyree. Three guards they have. Ole Miss, as good as you're going to find. 13-3 run by Ole Miss. Baylor looking for offense. I'm telling you. Ball loose. These three guards, you don't want to see them coming. Tyree with the dish. Davis can't get the finish. Tyree the follow off. Balance and one. They are on every loose ball. Darius Allen breaking the other way. Poked away by Schuler and stolen back. Here goes Tyree. Three on one for the Rebels. He goes to Schuler. Left in the layup is good. As the first half progressed, Baylor's play would cut the Rebels' lead and bring the Bears roaring back. 
Schuler on Mason. Meyer. Tough shot. <laughs> Did he call glass? No. Baylor coming the other way. Clark for the finish. Baylor on a run. They pulled within three here, and it is a 10 0 run for the Bears. However, the Ole Miss offense would score enough to keep Baylor snared until the second half. Makai Mason throws it away. Schuler saves it underneath the basket, and then Ola Nietzsche gets the block from behind on Jared Butler. Here's a nice feed from Tyree to Buffin, and he gets the two handed jam. Tyree lost the handle. Got it out to Buffin. Two on the shot clock. Hinson lets fly and buries it. Just like they drew it up. We are tied at 36 here, under two minutes to play in the half. DC Davis on a drive. Great feed to Stevens. Again, he went through the defender's legs. Schuler. Cross court, Stevens from deep with a hand in his face. What a way to end the half for the Old Miss Rebels. The Rebels will take a four point lead to the half. 43 39, big bucket right there. Back and forth we have gone. In the second half, the Rebels would enjoy similar success, following the lead of junior guard Brian Tyree. for three. Ole Miss starts the second half the way be they began the first. Schuler now on a drive. Kicks it into the corner. Tyree for three. Yes, sir. Up top, Tyree. Five to shoot. Brian on the drive. Floater is good. Got it up over the hand of Clark. Davis with the basketball. Gives to Tyree. Tyree fades and fires and hits from the right baseline. 21 for Brian Tyree. One of the best mid-range shooters, jump shooters you'll find in college basketball. After a series of Baylor scores, Ole Miss needed to rely on both veterans and rookies alike to cave in the Bears. Hinson pulls up. Smooth stroke. This kid's gonna be a really good player too. Nice fresh. Good pass. Inside Stevens against Clark turns off the glass. Bruce Stevens. Oh! Oh! Ole Miss wins it 78 to 70 over the Baylor Bears. They advance on to the championship game of the Emerald Coast Classic. Yeah! 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 How's it done, you, baby? Man. Hey, hey, roll, 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 Came here for one reason, right? We're going to play a heck of a team tomorrow night. I think it's kind of built like us. But I'm, I'm proud of you guys. Good win. Hey, first of many. Championship game tomorrow, baby. Six o'clock. Be there. Be square. I will be there. Big win. You already know Ole Miss takeover. You already know how we do it. New um, new era. Come on with it. This man growed up tonight, man. He got up. He growed up tonight, man. I'm pressing right. Hey, the weeds. And I take it, I take it. The boys growed up tonight, baby. Hey, Reverend Nation, we coming, man. I'm telling you. You already know they ain't had the foe on me, but I'm repping my pops as number 21. Hey. Big Shut dub up. against Baylor, man. We need that. Shout out to Pop. We need that. Shout out to Pop. Rebel ready, man. Rebel ready. Hey. Big time. Family on three, one, two, three.
The win over Baylor had Ole Miss fans bubbling with excitement. And while the faithful fans of the red and blue were overflowing with confidence in their new look reps, the players and coaching staff knew the tough test that awaited them in perennial NCAA tournament team, Cincinnati. It's 50-50 balls right there, first on the floor. Who's going to hit first, rebounding, legally? I mean, it is. It's going to be just like a fist fight. That's just kind of that's kind of what it is when you play Cincinnati. Rebounding game. All five guys. Guards. We said it. Guards. I mean, Devontae, you guys coming back, rebounding down. Seven and eight rebounds. Don, Bruce, you guys, KJ, Blake, all you guys. Boom, go right back. And I mean, two-hand rebounds. Great opportunity tonight against a really, really good team. The same start we had last night, that's just got to continue, continue, continue. That kind of effort the entire 40 minutes of basketball. The thing that I'm excited about with these two teams is how hard they play. These two teams will compete on both ends of the floor. I think we're in for a great game. While Cincinnati would throw the first punch of this heavyweight matchup, taking the early lead, Ole Miss would be steadied by the offensive explosion of sophomore point guard Devontae Shuler. Here's a drive by Shuler, gets three defenders, he somehow gets it up and in. The best thing you can do against a matchup zone is drive the ball. Rebound goes to Buffett, he pushes ahead. Shuler down the lane, Shuler to the rim, got it again. How about Shuler oh. feeling it? That's three drives right to the rim. Devontae Shuler. Holy cow, does this kid put in minutes on the floor and fill up the stat sheet. With the Bearcats answering every shot from Ole Miss with one of their own, the Rebels would lock in on defense, leading to a momentum swing in the final minutes of the half. These cats aren't taking off possession now, now what? Wow, we just gotta sell in and play. Broom, blocked. Tyree fighting with Cumberland. Schuler comes up with it. He's got numbers. Terrence Davis. Olenicek with the half hook. Good pass by Terrence Davis. Olenicek got in there really deep. Levante Schuler on a baseline drive. Up and under with the English off the glass. Schuler with the bucket. Jennifer with 10 seconds to go. Cumberland going to try a three. It rattles out. Now the Rebels with seven seconds to go. Got a chance to get one off here. Can he finish strong? Schuler will try. Bangs down the three. Big shot. What a finish for the Rebs. You said five. The Rebs are back within four. And you look up and say, how did they do it? Unbelievable. The halftime break would allow the Rebs to catch their breath but wouldn't slow their momentum as they came back out ready to pick up where they had left off. Rebels going right to left here in the second half. They get it inside to Stevens, and he got around Scott for an easy bucket. They're moving with a little bit more purpose here in the second half. It's a two-point game, and now almost a steal. Schuler knocked it away. Buffett gets it to Schuler. The two-handed dunk, and the Rebels have tied it at 39 apiece. A new career high for Devontae Schuler. Cincinnati needs a timeout. We're all knotted at 39. Well, the Bearcats cannot find the bottom of the bucket. The last one came at 439 of the first half. That is nine minutes and 14 seconds ago, which tells you that Ole Miss, they play pretty good defense themselves. Kane Broom to the rim. As soon as you said it, they scored. The layup would give the Bearcats a two-point lead. And despite a strong Rebel effort in the second half, Cincinnati would not fall behind the rest of the game, showing why they are expected to make the NCAA tournament every year. That'll do it. 71-57 is the final. And we are now joined by the head coach of the Rebels, Kermit Davis. And Coach, beginning of that second half, you were able to get back, got it tied there at 41, and then Cincinnati just pulled away from you as they were getting buckets, and you guys couldn't quite execute on the offensive end. Well, a lot has to do with uh, with Cincinnati. I mean, they play with a, a great physicalness and uh, took us out of rhythm. We had three assists tonight. Sometimes you're going to have some nights to where, you know, the ball doesn't go in the basket, but can you still affect the game? Rebounding the ball, I mean, still affect the game. There are a lot of different things, and uh, it's a learning experience for us. It's a long year, and we got beat by a team that makes the game unconventional, and they did. And, uh, but the three assists kind of says it all and the way that game started. But even after all of that, the game was four at halftime. 
I mean, it was four. Yeah. I mean, we were just like, that's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it really is an amazing. Because I thought our guys fought it. I mean, they just fought it. It wasn't pretty at all. We didn't execute. But we just kind of fought, fought the whole first half. And then we kind of got up. And then we just we got in foul trouble. And just one of those things, like I said, they kept executing, Mark, and we did. And uh, we'll bounce back and uh, take off Sunday. And, uh, and hopefully our team will have some great practices on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday night, it'll be San Diego coming into the pavilion. Coach, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. That's Coach Kermit Davis joining us here at courtside as his team falls 71 at 57. Move all the freshmen out the way. Get me mad. Mm-mm, good. <laughs> Blake, yeah. I see Blake. you over there, duck dog. Yeah, all the freshmen. Really, nah, bro, Bruce, the get the freshmen out of here, bro. I, mean, I don't even know what cheese that was you just threw in there. But I'm just like, all right, yeah. <laughs> cheese so good, boy. Come on now. All right. I thought it was $30. Really, but Michael just important, so.